Hello guys, welcome to Miss T's Tarot. We will be doing a pick a card reading. Uh, uh, Spirit has some messages for you today. Spirit say, don't give up, happy times are coming. Pick from the power that you most drawn to. These are messages from your spirit guides. Power number one is the white crystal. Power number two is the yellow crystal. And power number three is the green crystal. Messages from spirit guides. Spirit say, don't give up. Happy times are coming. So I give you a moment to pick from the power that you most drawn to, and then we'll get started. I would like to thank all you guys for watching my channel. Like and share and subscribe, and thank you so much. Okay, we'll get started with power number one. It's the white crystal. On messages from your spirit guides. Let's see what power number one has. Flexibility came out. Spirit is asking that you be more flexible in whatever schedule you have. Maybe you're working on a project. Maybe you're trying to start a new business. Um, maybe you're trying to get a, a new job or, you know, a, a, a different pay raise. But Spirit is asking you to be more flexible in your schedule with doing things to try to build this business, you know, more, have more time for it. You know, be more flexible in your schedule. You know, if you're trying to, uh, you know, increase your finances, just be more productive, be more flexible, try to do things that, uh, you know, try to fit time into your schedule to get these things done. Spirit is asking you to be more flexible in your schedule right now. Spirit is also asking, asking, asking that you be more open. Be, be, be more open, be more flexible to the situations on, you know, whatever this is, whether it's a relationship, job, or building your own business. Spirit wants you to open up, be open, you know, kind of be optimistic about things, you know. Be, just be more open and have more time, you know, to fit people and your priorities in, you know. Try to make more time for it and be more open to different situations. This is what spirit is asking you to do because new beginnings are coming for you. You know, um, whether it's, you know, opening up your new business, whether it is, it is that you trying to get another job to pay more, whether it's a new relationship or all these things, new beginnings are coming for you here, but it's, it's requiring you to be more flexible, be more open to these relationships, these jobs, uh, this new business, you know, you got to fit this time in, you know, this is what spirit is saying and your new beginnings are coming, you know, the pay advancements, you know, growing, growth is coming. You're going to have a brand new beginning here, pal number one. Also, your your energy is gaining momentum here. So you are having a lot of energy for these things. Spirit said you're going to have all the energy that you want because your energy is very high right now. Just be flexible even if you feel tired sometimes. You know, be open to listen to others when it comes down to like love, relationships, or, you know, your job or whatever. You know, be open to different ideas make more time here because your new beginning is coming you you know things are going to be different for you here if you be flexible and more open here because your energy is is at the top right now so you have the energy for this even though sometimes it may seem like you don't feel like it you don't want to change things but spirit is asking that you be more open to these things just like i just said and i didn't know this was here it says Spirit wants you to step out of your comfort zone. Spirit said you have enough energy to push through anything that you want here. You can go for it here. So Spirit is asking that you step outside of your comfort zone. It may make you a little tired and you, you know, because you're doing things on a routine. So you got to be more flexible here, pal number one. Spirit is asking that you step out of your comfort zone. Also, a time, time for healing is here. Maybe you've been going through some things that had you very drained here, but Spirit is saying now is the time, even though you're going through your healing, healing is still taking place here. 
because you're going to have a brand new beginning here, but you have the energy and the strength to be more open, to be more flexible, to get things done, you know, to help you get to where you want to be with this new beginning. Well, like I said, in relationships, jobs, career wise, or whatever this is. So, you know, you still going through a healing time here and your brand new beginning is coming here through it all relationships, jobs, all of this is coming. You have a lot of anxiety here. Spirit wants you to, you know, to try to, um, let's see. Spirit wants you to kind of keep praying through your anxiety. You know, spirit is there for you. You have a lot of anxiety and fear, but spirit has your back here. Spirit is encouraging you just to keep moving. Because your new beginning is coming here. You have a lot of anxiety about change, I feel like. You know, being open to new ideas, being flexible for, you know, to make changes in your life. You have a lot of anxiety, even though these are things you want. You know, Spirit says it's going to be okay here. They have your back. You can do this. You have the strength and the energy to do this now, even though you're going through a lot of healing here. Spirit wants you to keep moving in the direction that you want to go. You know, with this business, this love life is not over. You know, you know, you is at you are you are at your high right now with this energy level. You know, you have went through a lot here and you still healing, but spirit is asking now is the time to start being more open, being more flexible in the life things that you want here. For as your money, career, relationships, and this is also here. Being open and flexible and you know, in, in, in the type of relationship you want, if you meet somebody, kind of be open to listen. Maybe you're going to have to do things differently, you know, be more flexible. Maybe it may not be at the scheduled time that you want, but just kind of be open to flexibility. You know, this new caring person is coming in. Y'all may not even be working on the same shift, but it may tire you out. Y'all may work different shifts, you know, just be ready to be flexible. Just get up and go and be ready to be open, to hear things out. This is with love, money, your career, and everything. It's time, Spirit says. It's time to start moving in the direction you want to go because you have the energy here. And Spirit has your back on this. Your new beginnings are coming, but you got to be open for this. You're going through some healing, and Spirit has your back on this. They are helping you with every bit of this healing preparing you for this new beginning here. But it's some things that they want you to do. Step out your comfort zone. Be open to different things and different ideas. You want this uh, caring connection here. It's coming, but you're going to have to do things differently here. And you have a lot of anxiety, but spirits say they have your back. Don't worry. Everything is going to work out just fine here, power number uh, one. So these are the messages that I have for you guys, power number one. We will be moving on to power number two. Okay, power number two is the yellow crystal. Messages from the spirit guides. Letting you know that better days are coming. These are messages from your spirit guides. Okay. Spirit wants to know, let you know, blessings are coming. A lot of blessings are coming. A whole lot of blessings are coming for you, pal number two. Spirit wants you to start embracing the life that you want. Start embracing this lifestyle because it's a whole lot of blessings coming. Already feel, think, and breathe the lifestyle you want. Start embracing this lifestyle with all these blessings and abundance that's coming your way. Don't be afraid to embrace it. Say it. Live it. Breathe it. You know, saying your affirmation that, you know, you good enough, you know, you wealthy, you know, because all these blessings are coming. Don't shy away. Start embracing this blessing of abundance here. Spirit wants you to start doing that. 
Like I said, spirit wants you to start going forward, moving forward in the direction and having that mindset about receiving all these blessings. They coming for you, but spirit is asking that you start embracing these things. Like you already, you know, abundant, like you're already rich, like, you know, everything. Spirit wants you to start moving mentally in this direction because your blessings are coming and they're asking that you start embracing this lifestyle. Start already living this lifestyle because it's coming. Blessings are already coming for you. They are on the way. This is what spirit wants you to know. But don't shy away from it. Don't think that you're not good enough for these blessings. Because spirit is blessing you. God is blessing you with these blessings. And nobody can take them away from you. But spirit is asking that you start embracing them. You go start going forward, looking into your future and accepting this abundance in all these blessings. Conclusions are at reach. And I feel like with you talking to spirit, spirit is help, helping you, guiding you, telling you they have your back, which they do. So the conclusion that's at reach is God and, the, you know, your, your uh, meditations and putting out your manifestations because all of this is coming true for you. These blessings are come, but coming and, and spirit has your back. The conclusions are at reach here. So the conclusion is keep praying, praying the spirit, keep manifesting everything you want because it's on its way and start embracing these things. Start going forward here, moving forward right into these uh, blessings. Accept them. Don't feel bad about these blessings. Don't feel um, like you don't deserve these things because you're going to have them, but spirit don't want you to feel bad about the blessings that are coming to you. Yep, you are good enough. Like I said, start embracing it. Telling yourself affirmations, manifestations, everything you want, you asking God for it. And don't be embarrassed by this. Embrace this situation because it's coming for you. You are good enough for these blessings. You are good enough to be rich, abundant, and all these things, and to live the good life. This is what Spirit wants you to know. You are very good enough for this. Because they are coming. It said, look at the higher picture. Like I said, think about how high you about to go and all the blessings God has for you. Spirit has for you. Look at the big picture. Just imagine yourself, all the blessings they're giving you. They want you to embrace this because this is going to be you. Don't be ashamed of this. You deserve this. Spirit is asking you to look at the big picture. This is what you've been asking for, manifesting, and everything. You've been saying your affirmations. If you haven't, say them, continue to do them. Look at the big picture of what you've been asking God for. Your blessings are coming. Spirit is just asking you simply to embrace them. Don't think that you don't deserve this because you do. You deserve this. Spirit also wants to let you know it's going to be a lot of deceitful people that are going to be jealous of you or these blessings that you, you know, that you've been calling in, that you've been manifesting, that you are about to receive. It's a lot of deceitful people around. They claim they're happy for you, but they're not. This could be family, friends. It could be even in a relationship, marriage, or whatever this is. But just watch out with all these blessings coming your way. Don't let these deceitful people make you feel bad about anything any of this abundance that's coming your way here. You're going to be getting a lot of appreciation. Just watch out. Some of those are deceitful that's going to claim they congratulating and those are some people that are going to be very genuine. They really do appreciate how far you have came and how blessed you are here. So Spirit is just warning you and letting you know your blessings are on the way. Just embrace them. At your heart is embrace all this abundance and don't feel bad about it, but use your discernment when it comes down to people, whether it's family, friends, husband, wife, long-term relationship, whatever this is. Watch out for some deceit. People going to claim they're going to be congratulating you and some are going to really appreciate and know where you came from and they're going to think you really deserve it. And there's also some deceitful ones. No matter what you do, they're not happy for you. So these are messages from Spirit just want to let you know. Also, Spirit want to let you know you're going to be very peaceful here. 
You're going to have a lot of peace in your life. This person looks very peaceful. You're going to live a very peaceful lifestyle when you get all this abundance and all these blessings that's going to come upon you. Maybe things have been, you know, kind of chaotic for you lately, you know, because you don't have everything you want, but it's coming. You're going to be living that life here. Somebody very peaceful. This lady is out in her backyard looking very peaceful here. You know, so just kind of watch out, pal number two, but get ready to embrace all of these blessings. This is very good outside of the deceit that's here. But we always have that when uh, we go to another level. So your blessings are on the way, pal number two. And I thank y'all for watching this video, pal number two, and we'll be moving on to pal number three. Okay, pal number three is the green crystal here. Messages from your spirit guides. Letting you know better days are coming. Happier times are coming. Illumination is here. Spirit is asking you to illuminate some things out your life here. Let's see what else it has here. You have a lot of wisdom. So it's time that you will start illuminating some people and things out your life here. Things that no longer serve you. Spirit wants you to get rid of them. Move on from it. Illumination is here. So it's time to eliminate some people, jobs maybe, and all of this. Spirit is asking you to let them go. But you have a lot of wisdom and knowledge here. You know, it's like you have the intuition. You know already the things that you need to let go here. So spirit is calling at this time to let some things go from your life because your abundance is coming, a whole lot of abundance. So this could be a job that you've been holding on to for so long that's causing, you know, maybe you're underpaid. It's causing a lot of drama in your life here. It's time to illuminate some things, people, jobs, all of this, to receive this abundance. Your abundance is coming in. So Spirit said you are very intuitive and wise, so you already know the things you need to illuminate, but it's time to do so. Spirit is telling you to. it's time to let go of it. This card is saying Spirit wants you to surrender to the divine, the vim, surrender to the most high, to your spirit, guys, to God. Take all your burdens and your thoughts to God on making your next move on what you need to do. And Spirit has the cards here already letting you know it's time to illuminate people, places, and things. It's time to go if you need to move from a bad place or job or people that no longer serve your purpose in a relationship, family members, or whatever. You already know you have the wisdom and knowledge. You already know you're intuitive about this. But keep talking to God, surrendering to the divine here. Because they're going to guide you every step of the way here. A personal e issue reaches resolution. So, like I said, it's time. Personal issues has reached a resolution. So, now you're coming up with things that, you know... Uh, talking to spirit and letting your spirit guides and God guides you, you know, you, you coming up with a lot of resolutions. You know, God don't talk to us in the physical, but if you listen carefully, things will keep being brought to your mind on when to move and how to do things here. So, you know, things are being resolved. If you just pay attention and listen to your spirit guides, listen to God here, you gonna you about to reach this abundance here, and you already know what you need to let go of here. It's time. Like I said, whether it's a job, relationship, whatever this is, they're no longer serving you. You've been talking to spirit, listen to spirit, guiding you, telling you it's time to leave now. Spirit wants you to know your loved ones are safe. Maybe you're worried about your loved ones, your children or your family or something. You're afraid of something here. You know, the reason why you're not making a move here or something here. But Spirit said your loved ones are safe. So you guys are safe here. Yep. Spirit wants you to keep talking to them. They are there for you. Guiding you, leading you to help you make these right decisions on when to move here. Just listen to your guys. I'm sure since these cards came out, 
that is something you want to change about your life. You've been having a lot of, you've been questioning a lot of things, <coughs> whether you should move on from this job, this relationship, whatever this is. Spirit has got your back. Keep talking to spirit and it won't lead you wrong. Spirit is going to guide you. Surrender to the divine here. Keep surrendering. You will have all the answers you need here. But Spirit says time. You have the wisdom and knowledge. It's time to go from whatever this is that no longer serve you. Keep meditating. Keep praying here because the Spirit, door the Spirit is here. They are there for you. They want to let you know. These are messages from Spirit. They want to let you know you can always come to them, to your Spirit guides, to God. The door is open. The door to Spirit is wide open. Keep talking, meditating, talking to God. Taking breaks, getting rest when you feel overwhelmed. Don't push yourself too far, you know, to exhaust you here. Just take your time, listen to spirit, illuminate the things, move on from the situations that no longer serve you. And spirit is right here to help you. Just surrender to the divine is here, door to spirit, and rest and rejuvenate, rejuvenate. Those are all spirit cards. They want you to keep talking to them, listening to them, guiding you here. And you're going to have a happy family. You will be happy. Your family is going to be happy because some of you guys might be worried about your family because they said you and your loved ones are safe. But here the happy family card is here. Like I said, maybe, you know, you're afraid to move on from relationships or a job because you're not figuring that you're not financially secure to do this all by yourself once you leave these situations that no longer serve you. But Spirit is saying you and your family is going to be a one big happy family, but you got to step into this abundance and leave those things behind that no longer serve you, jobs, relationships, family, whatever it is, because you and your family that you have are going to be safe and y'all going to be happy. So this is all I have for you guys today on Messages from Your Spirit. Press like, share, and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching Miss T's Tarot. See you next time.